In a recent development, the finance ministry revealed that the government had sanctioned 22.9 thousand crore rupees for completing 243 housing projects. Now, this is an alternate investment fund, Swami, which was set up in 2019. The funding will now pave the way for executing 1.4 lakh incomplete homes across the country. We have with us Irfan Kazi, the man responsible for untangling the mess of India's stuck housing projects and giving hope to so many home buyers. Uh, Irfan, let's kick off with uh, at the end of 2021, how many home buyers and projects have been completed? So, Manisha, we, we measure completion in terms of OC obtained yes. or OC applied. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that is uh, that is as far as we can go in completing a project. The rest is you know, in the hands of the regulatory authorities and the local uh, with the local authorities. We've completed uh, 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 by that yardstick. We have currently completed eight uh, projects. Uh, about 1600 plus homes are now uh, uh, being delivered even as we speak. In addition, we are looking at completing another 11 projects or so in the next uh, three to four months because they've already applied for an uh, occupation certificate or a complete uh, uh, completion certificate, uh, as the case may be, that will complete another 5,500 homes. So between them, we hope to complete about uh, 7,000 homes in the next three to four months. So you're saying by the end of financial year, we take not the calendar year, but financial year 2022, we will have about 5,000 homes? Or more? Uh, about 7,000 homes. About 7,000 homes. All right. 1,500 of which are already complete. Okay. Now, let's look a little bit forward and give us a sense of uh, overall in 2022, the calendar year, how many more? Will, will the numbers ramp up much faster now that construction activities are not limited by COVID lockdowns, etc.? Absolutely. So, uh, while we were slowed by COVID, we were not, uh, you know, completely at a standstill. Uh, we continued providing funding. Uh, a lot of sites were functional. And uh, by the end of uh, uh, 2022, by December 2022, we complete. Uh, we hope to complete about uh, 20,000 homes. 20,000 homes. All right. Uh, the monies which are allocated, how far will they take you? Will they actually help in completing those 1.4 lakh homes that's estimated? Will you go in for more funding if it's required? What's the sense that we can get right now? So the sense we have, right, is that funding is not a constraint okay. for completing homes. Uh, you know, as long as the projects meet the Swami funding criteria, uh, the government has uh, the government as a sponsor and as a largest investor has assured us that you know as much money as is required to address the issue will always be available. So it's not just five or ten thousand crores as a sponsor that the government will put in. If there's more needed, if there is viability in the project, it can be revived. The government will give in more money. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, you know, these are not mere words. What we've done is we've extended the fundraising period by another one year. So we have another one year to see, you know, how much capital we need and that much capital will be made available for our projects. Okay. So then give me the number. 1.4 lakh homes are supposed to get delivered. That's the target or large target that we heard from finance ministry. Is that still the number? So that is the number, right? That is the number of uh, uh, homes that are being completed that already have a prelim and or a final approval. But between a prelim and a final approval, there is, you know, external due diligence. And there are some projects which, you know, which might meet a preliminary approval, but do not go on to get a final approval. That said, at least the projects that have got a final approval, there are 100 projects that have got a final approval. They will be, you know, with those projects, we'll be completing about 60,000 homes. Final question, key learnings uh, in the last two years. I mean, this was a difficult task, Irfan, and it was a big mess to be untangled. What have been some of your big learnings? So we have, you know, we, we are about 24 months old. Four months were pre-COVID. The rest of the 20 months, we lived along with COVID like the rest of the country, right? In spite of that, we have been able to ensure uh, project completion, home delivery, simply because we did two things right. One, we ensured that uh, you know, there is adequate funding that is available for the project. Two, we ensured that the money that has been sanctioned for the project is used for the project and nowhere else. You know, with absolute certainty and with a lot of confidence, we can say that the money is being used only for completing the project and it's not being diverted for you know, any other project or for any other you know, cause, basically. 
So that said, we've, you know, a key learning has been for us has been the fact and we've been pleasantly surprised by it, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've harped on the fact that uh, construction and completeness and credibility is what Swami gets in. But what we've noticed in the last six months or more is that we act as a catalyst. You know, it's not just our funding, even our presence leads to better collections and better sales. And therefore, our funding might not be entirely required, and which is okay with us. No. Because, you know, our prime purpose is to complete the project. It's not to deploy capital. How interesting is that, that, you know, just that itself, the fact that Swami has approved it for funding probably makes the traction on the project must much faster. Irfan Kazi, thank you very much uh, for joining us and giving us that update as we close 2021. And we are keeping our fingers crossed for many more home buyers who will probably benefit from Swami Fund and Irfan Kazi's team in terms of home completions. Uh, goodbye from me and thanks so much for watching.